the graft material is captured within the clot, the blood clot, which is a fibrin clot in the first 10 to 12 minutes after the, the graft goes in. So as long as your protocol is proper, and what I mean by that is, is that when you get the implant in, you must gap graft right away. If you wait, for instance, you place the implant and then you say to your assistant, okay, go get the graft material. And then they're going, they're hunting through the drawers to find the graft material. Then, then they try to get that little metal ring off the top that everybody hates that takes forever to get off. And they're fighting with it. And they finally get it off and you've waited 10 to 12 minutes. You already have a fibrin clot around your implant. Well, you now you have a choice. You can either try to push your graft material into the fibrin clot, not a good idea, or you can use your high-speed suction and suck it out and then place your graft again. Well, the problem with that is, is that when you suck it out, you don't necessarily initiate a good blood flow again. And so if you don't have good blood flow, you don't have good blood flow around your graft material, you get a less than ideal outcome on your grafting. So the, the proper way to do it, the most efficient way to do it, is to have everything set up ahead of time because you know, taking out a tooth, you are going to graft that site one way or another. If the implant doesn't have primary stability, you're still grafting, okay? So if the implant has stability, you're gap grafting. So you're going to graft. So have the graft material out. Have it ready to go. So take the tooth out, place the implant, and then gap graft right away, right away. Get it in there so that the blood flows around your graft and gets a nice good fibrin clot in 10 to 12 minutes. Boom that fibrin clot is going to hold your graft material in place. You don't need a socket seal to maintain or to hold it. It's going to hold just fine. It's not going to fall out as long as they don't suck on a, on a straw, okay? As long as they do what you tell them to do and your post-op instructions like you do normally, you're not going to have any complications with losing your graft to the oral environment. And so in the posterior, I don't do socket sealing, okay? It's just, in my opinion, not necessary.